we see the same challenges. You know, we're getting taxed. The Deficit Reduction Act took $13 billion out of the diagnostic imaging business. There's nothing in our future that says we're going to get more for what we do. In fact, just the opposite. Um, now, there's two ways to play that. That's a threat or that's an innovation opportunity. And I, as a leader, believe it's exciting. I'm an optimist about this one. I think now is the time for organizations and leaders to step up and say, we'll innovate, we'll change, and we'll find an opportunity by aligning with healthcare policy and CXO priorities. What are your agendas to solve the cost, quality, and access challenge of healthcare in this fine country of the United States? And that's what we've done by announcing what we call health imagination a little over a year ago. This is a Jeff Emmelt level agenda. It's not a GE healthcare agenda because we believe water and energy and healthcare can play a big role in that, as can NBC in terms of consumer education around healthcare. But is it a public statement that says we plan to reduce cost by 15%, improve quality by 15%, and get greater access to the healthcare system globally by 15%? We'll spend $6 billion over the next five years in doing that. In some respects, around the 100 innovations that we've committed to that will be certified by an outside third party, Oxford Analytica. And you'll, you'll be able to see it just like an annual report. We'll have no ability to manage that data. So it's not a marketing campaign. It is we're hanging it out there. And we should. We're leaders. Uh, if not us, who? But I, what I want to sort of communicate to you is that although there were lots of dark clouds in this presentation, I think there's a lot of sun right behind it. And we see it. We see it in the way we can innovate across cost and quality and access. These are real life examples. They're not huge in any one example, but as we proliferate these examples across uh, the United States and the world, we can make a meaningful difference. In asset management, reducing the excess spending by a million per year for five years by right-sizing inventories, using RFID and software visualization of where that workflow is going. Again, do you know that your biomed utilization is at about 35% or 40%? If you don't have the ability to monitor that and see where that workflow is and optimize those assets, you can't get there. But we've innovated and created that capability in order to get at 15% lower cost in the service side. Efficient hospital design. Optimize the design of a new critical care hospital, leveraging simulation, improving quality of the patient experience, and making best use of nursing resources. Significant transformation. We have a pretty significant global research center that can do some amazing simulations on how do I optimize, given the service lines and resource levels and workflow uh, layout of the particular facilities. Lower cost, but generated through more innovation. On the quality side, one project reduced inefficiencies in nursing activities that are equivalent to 42 full-time employees using lean. And the, and the good news is, now I have capacity for more patient care, which is what the point of all this is about. But it was about innovation using tools and aligning with the priorities of the CXO in this particular facility. Safety event reporting, again, we talked about it. We drove a cultural change and implemented tools to dramatically increase reporting of near misses to enable sophisticated medical area root cause analysis. If you don't know where the near misses are, the first time you find out about it is a real event. But that's a cultural change. It's a technology to make sure the taxonomy makes reporting simple. And it's building a broad base of near miss data in order to use the disciplines of Six Sigma and other tools to understand what the real root cause requirement is for the fix that's sustainable over time. So quality goes up by 15%. Access, OR optimization. One organization, we unlocked 900 surgeries through a block optimizer and a governance capability around how we manage that OR together between surgeons, administrations, nurses, and others. 